Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a list view search filter in Flutter Android. Let's see the main.dart file. First, we import the material.dart package. Then, we create the stateless widget called myApp in the main function. This is the myApp stateless widget. We create a material app and apply a theme in the build function. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. This is the my home page stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. First, we have a list of strings as a data member. Here we have a list of ABCD alphabets. We will use this list to populate the list view. Then we have some data members. The new data list will be the exact copy of the ABCD alphabet list, and we will perform all the search filter operations on the new data list so that our original ABCD alphabets list will stay safe and intact. Then we have a text editing controller. We also have an icon and a title text for the search bar. In the init state function, we copy the ABCD alphabets list into the new data list. In the build function, we have a scaffold widget upon which we will build other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we specify the title and icon of the app bar. We will have a search icon on the app bar. When the search icon is clicked by the user, we will call the perform search operation function. The body attribute is set to the list view dot builder widget. The item count is set to the number of items in the new data list. Inside the item builder, we design how an individual item of the list view would look like. First, we have a card widget. And inside that, we have a text widget. The value of the text widget comes from the new data list. This is the reset data function. When the user deletes all the text from the search bar, we call this reset button, which resets the list view to default values. This is the perform search operation function. Here, first, we set the focus of the search bar. Then we check if the user has clicked the search view icon or the delete cross icon. If the user has clicked the search view icon, then, we set the various UI attributes of the search, like, its title, cursor attributes, color, etc. We also set the controller as the text controller which we had defined earlier. The unchanged attribute is the most important one here. Whenever the user types a new letter in the search bar, this on item changed function gets called. If the user has clicked the cross delete icon, that means the user has erased or deleted whatever he had typed in the search bar. So here show the search icon again, and call the reset data function, which resets the entire list view. This is the on item changed function. Whenever the user enters a new letter in the search view, this function gets called. Here we checked what the user typed in the search view, and filtered the entire list view according to the query text. Let's run the app. As you can see, by default we have ABCD alphabets data in the list view. But when I type a letter in the search bar, the list view shows only that data which includes this letter. So that's it. That's how you can create a list view with a search filter in Flutter Android. Thank you.